Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will talk about how you can start an SEO for a brand new website. If you have just created a website, then you must do search engine optimization to rank your website on Google and other search engines. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you that this video series will be completely practical about search engine optimization. You just have to watch these videos and you just have to implement the strategies on your website and your website will start ranking on Google and other search engines. So I will divide this video series in four parts. The first one is basic SEO. The second one is technical SEO and the third one is on page optimization and the fourth and last one is of page optimization these four parts are really important you just have to watch these videos don't miss any part of these video uh, these videos so uh, without wasting your time let's get started so in this video I will tell you about the basic SEO which is very very important because if you don't set up your website correctly then you can't start SEO you can't start search engine optimization so let's go to my computer screen there I will show you all the basics of search engine optimization so let's go okay so if i open this excel sheet from here you can see that this is basic seo and these all the things are uh, you need to set up these things properly on your website and if i open this excel sheet this is six months uh, plan for your seo for a brand new website so if you have just started a website you just have to uh, follow these plans follow these uh, strategies of search engine optimization as you can see that six months plan I will share this six months plan with you uh, in the later part of this video and if I go to basics of SEO so what you need to do before starting search engine optimization there are things you need to set up on your website the first one is Google search console you need to set up Google search console properly because it is very important to have Google search console so first of all if I open my Google search console from here search on Google Google search console so this one is Google search console so open this tool okay now what this tool will do is this tool will tell you the issues you have on your website uh, and it will tell you all the site traffic and performances this tool is very very important so you'll have to click on the start now and as you can see there from here i have added my websites all all the websites here if you want to add a website on google search console you need to add property from here you need to add a domain here and then you need to verify your domain uh, through dns verification or other methods are here in the url prefix so add your domain on google search console it is very very important because if you have some issues on your website like if i click on this page experience so it will tell you okay so that as you can see that uh, my mobile usability is uh, running low as I have to improve this uh, score I have to improve this score it is very very important for search engine optimization okay connect your website with Google search console and read about these things research about these things so you can better know that how to use Google search console so this is the first thing to do Google search console and the second step in search engine optimization and basic SEO is Bing webmaster tool you need to uh, set up your account you need to connect your website to Bing webmaster tool because you need traffic from Bing as well and other search engines like Yahoo and other search engines so you need to connect with Bing webmaster tool and Google search console the process is same uh, as Google search console you need to connect uh, your website to Bing webmaster tool and the third and the very important thing is Google Analytics so if you go to Google Analytics okay so from here you need to click here and you need a gmail account to open Google Analytics okay okay so this is my property here this is my website here on google analytics and as you can see that this website this google analytics will tell you all the traffic insights of your website so this is very important to understand uh, how are you going to get traffic where are you getting traffic 
and if you want to connect your website to google analytics it is very easy you need to go to admin section from here and you can see that i can create an account of for my website i can create a property i can just connect my uh, website to google analytics using this property as uh, i have done on uh, google search console and all these things i have to add a property name here and i have to okay so then i will if i click on this next button i will add my domain and all those things here so you need to connect and google analytics which is very important to have before starting search engine optimization okay connect google analytics and the fourth one is very important you need to have a paid seo tool uh, because it is very important to have a paid seo tool i have SEM rush you can just buy SEM rush or you can buy Ahrefs or you can buy Uber suggest and many many other SEO tools are there because this will tell you all those things uh, that you can't get with free pay, free SEO tools so you need to have a paid SEO tool if i open SEM rush from here okay like you can see that this will do seo content marketing comp you can do competitor research which is very important because you can't do competitor research with free seo tools okay ppc and s social media marketing from just one platform okay so it is very important okay as you can see that on page seo checker this will tell you site audit if you have some issues on your site it will tell you positions on uh, of your website on specific keywords on search engines okay i personally use scm rush you can use Ahrefs or you can use uber suggest and many other seo tools are there so you need to have a paid seo tool for uh, starting seo for starting search engine optimization for a new website okay the fourth point is a uh, paid seo tool and the fifth one is very very important sitemap and robots.txt okay if you are using wordpress and you can use uh, yoast seo or rank math or any other seo plugins uh, that will automatically create a sitemap for your website if you are using a custom website which is not on wordpress then you have to install your sitemap uh, manually okay and sitemap and robots.txt which is very important to have a sitemap on your website because the first thing uh, the search engine crawler will do is it is it will search for sitemap which uh, includes all the urls of your website uh, which you want to rank on google and other search uh, engines okay so you have to have a sitemap and you have to have a robots.txt and the seventh and the last one in basic seo is you need to have an seo plugin if you are using wordpress it is very important to have an seo plugin uh, I am using Yoast SEO. You can use Rank Math, Yoast SEO, and many other SEO plugins are there. But I use Yoast SEO, which is very good, which is very awesome. So it will automatically create a sitemap and robots.txt for your website. So if you are using custom website, you need to create sitemap and robots.txt manually. So this is basic SEO and if you're starting a search engine optimization for your new website, you need to start with basic SEO. You need to start with Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tool and Google Analytics and paid SEO tool, sitemap, robots.txt and SEO plugin. So if I go to the monthly plan of search engine optimization, you can see that in month one, I'm starting with basic SEO, Google Search Console, Bing Webmaster Tool, all things are done here and after that what i will do is i will go uh, to technical seo issues where website crawlability and all other things are here so i will share all these things in the next part of this video as you can see that in the month one i have to resolve the technical seo issues on my website so after that in the month two i will uh, start with on page optimization and off page optimization so in the next part of this video i will tell you uh, all things about technical seo issues on your website so that's all for this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do it now so you won't miss my videos in future thank you for watching subscribe for more